the Celestra Rasa 11, it's a cutting edge telescope designed exclusively for astrophotography with the blazing fast f2.2 optics and this telescope is amazing to capturing nebulas galaxies and star clusters in minutes not in hours just in minutes I am working on the settings. The mount is working. This is Sky Watcher is not supposed to handle this heavy telescope, but it's doing actually very well. I have to add four dumbbells of weight to I have to buy two extra ones. But from what I understand, the weight to keep the telescope balanced doesn't count as the part of the load. So that's my understanding. So I think it's working. It doesn't matter. Great images that it's taking in a very short time, 45 minutes to an hour. What used to give me like six, seven, eight hours. I see 5146 is a reflection emission nebula located around 2,500 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Cygnus. And it is an active star-forming region, and it is also illuminated by a hot, young main sequence of stars. I am going for the Cocoon Nebula again, and this time with the Optalon l -Para filter to see if I can see the difference. I'm going to use the filter slider on the batter or bader system. Look here for the Cocoon Nebula. So um, I'm going to send it. I think it already probably passed the meridian. There it goes. But, you know, being a stationary uh, telescope, sometimes it works. As long as I don't bump it too much, sometimes I get lucky. Um, it's going there. I believe that is probably about right. Um, let me check on shortcut. I was very lucky that on the first try, I am on the area as I recognize those four stars uh, as part of the Cocoon Nebula. Uh, I better check the uh, focusing because uh, I had this problem the other day. Let me do one more test to be sure. Let me see if I have uh, some big star here. Maybe that one. Let's see what happens. I want to send the telescope to an adjacent star that is big enough to be sure that I am in the right area. Yeah, that kind of like works. Yeah, you see, uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, let me just go ahead and do sync here. Well, oh, it's the other way. I always go the wrong way. That's, that's correct. I am right there in the area, so I should get this relatively quick, which is good. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick sync here on one star, which is more than enough. And then I'll do the plate solving, Nina. I like to do this kind of like manually. Look, I mean, we have so much technology. Sometimes it's okay to get a little bit of work. I think that is pretty good. Let me just go ahead and sync. And now back to the Cocoon Nebula. Yeah. This telescope is doing really good with this mount. Sorry, but it's working. Okay, so now it's time for uh, to do set for framing assistant. This is going to be pretty quick. I don't have all the settings yet, so we need to be a little bit patient with uh, the Rasa 11. It will be really good. In the meantime, I have here my Optalon filter. L para filter, thanks to Optalon for sending me this amazing uh, filter, which is fits perfectly for the one color camera uh, in the Rasa 11. And I am using also uh, the uh, filter slider uh, for two inch, which is it's already installed there, but uh, thank God uh, the camera is not too bad right now. So I, I'm going to be able to reach Let's see what happens one more time, see if we can 
plate solve and, and if it's not it's probably just I'm right there in the middle is fine okay so I am going to skip this because I know I am on target so I can clearly see it and to be sure about this I'm just going to take a 15 seconds image here and that's pretty much what I need to do look at that just 15 seconds it may be slightly out of focus I'm not seeing much but that's okay <laughs> uh, this is where I put my smart telescopes but they're not going to be on tonight as I didn't plan on it yeah let's go back to the house Okay, so there it goes. Uh, I have a little technical problem here with uh, recording remotely the screen. So um, now we can see here uh, that the target is doing really good and it's showing, let's see, it's one by one, been in 120 offset, gain offset 20, which is kind of like what it's recommended for this camera. 60 seconds let me check the sequence here and uh it's been 10 frames so it's just 10 minutes looking pretty good the next step is to take all the images uh two pics inside examine all of them i did some basic calibration nothing special nothing great and here's my first image of the uh, cocoon nebula and immediately did some background extraction to remove the gradients very basic editing i did not separate the star from the uh, nebula so i'm kind of like doing a fast editing and little by little it started to look much better and this is without the uh, optolone para filter and here it is with the uh, optolone para filter uh, which is a completely different result, more orange, it, it, it more uh, red colors. And the final result, just straight from the telescope without any filters. With the Optolon para filter. And the second edit, just the Optolone para filter with the dark frames using the filter. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for my upcoming Rasa 11 videos.